Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am afflicted and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am a godly man. O you, my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you I cry all day long. Make glad the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in loving kindness to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and give heed to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I shall call upon you, for you will answer me. There is no one like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and they shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and will glorify your name forever. For your loving kindness toward me is great, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. When life is moving along smoothly, it's easy for those of us who are believers to say, God answers prayer. But a crisis can bring doubt especially if the Lord is not responding as quickly as we might like. That's when we may be tempted to bargain with God, as if He could be manipulated into acting on our behalf. However, the goal of prayer is not to get God to do what we want, but to bring our concerns to Him, trusting that He will answer in His own way and time. Waiting on the Lord is fairly easy when we're not facing anything urgent. But difficulties and suffering tend to make us impatient. We may even begin to find fault with God, thinking that if He truly loved us, He would intervene and bring relief. As we seek the Lord for help, David's prayers in the Psalms provide wonderful patterns for us to follow. He faced many dire situations and continued to turn to God. Today's scripture passage from Psalm 86 starts with David's urgent cry for help followed by his affirmation that he belongs to the Heavenly Father. Then he recounts God's character, gracious, good, ready to forgive, and abundant in loving kindness to all who call on him. These characteristics are the basis for trust. Knowing who God is enables us to trust him through the crises of life. Because he is faithful, we know that he will keep his promises His holiness causes us to examine our life and repent of any sins that are hindering our prayers. And His mercy, grace, and love give us the comfort we need to endure hardship. 